on the way down screaming Whoa! Hi guys, Techstuff here and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on Caden Life in 2017 for all the basics you need to know as a beginner with maybe no editing experience whatsoever and if you got some experience then it's even easier so let's get started and Caden Life is also a free program which you can download for Linux and Windows and other op operating systems and it's in my opinion the best video editing software for Linux which is free so yeah so let's get started now obviously the first thing you want to do is select open a new project so you can just click on file and click on new or you just click on new here so it doesn't really matter but let's or, or you just press on control plus n so there are three ways you can do that i will just click on new now and yeah now you can select the project folder where it will be saved i just select my tech folder so it's basically in my home and Caden life is one of the folders and obviously i want to have a video then in Caden life and yeah so now you can select the profile and for my youtube videos i select 1080p and 30 frames per second but you can obviously select a wide variety of settings so if your video has a lower frame rate then you obviously don't need to select 30 frames per second you can just select 24 frames or if your video doesn't have 1080p then you can just select one of these so yeah so it's quicker and obviously it also supports 4k so as you can see you can also select these and also some others and yeah but don't really care about those so let's just go up here and yeah so now here yeah, you can select how many audio and video tracks you want to have for this little demo i think three are more than enough but obviously if you have like a larger project then you might want more than three so yeah or if you maybe want to mix some music more music in so it sounds better or some sound effects then you might want more audio tracks than video tracks so that really depends on the project you want to have so yeah but i'm just choosing free for now so yeah and yeah let's just get started and just click on ok so as you can see a blank screen of course so now the first thing you obviously want to do is import some files which you want to edit for your video of, of course so there are obviously some different ways you can do that you can just click on project and add clip and now let's just select my intro and obviously here you can select all the different folders and yeah so let's just select it with intro and click on ok And as you can see, now it's in here where all my important files are and it says the date when I created this intro or when I put that on my PC. So yeah, and if you hover over it, obviously you can see the name of it, of a file name. So yeah, and of course you can also just click on add clip here which I normally don't do but it would be even faster in my opinion so let's just do that again and yeah and as you can see now I got two intro files so yeah but we obviously don't want two files so we are gonna just click on delete clip and you can obviously also just 
go on here and right click and then click on delete clip so there is no difference so you there are obviously also two ways now we just want to place our video down here and just drag and drop and yeah let's just select video one here and as you can see now it's here and let's just play that So as you can see it works, here's the project monitor. And now let's select another clip for one of my videos which I will upload today. So that would be, um, where is it? So this is the boss dynamics video which I will upload today and also just drag and drop and just put it where you want obviously but you're gonna put it here on video 1 and just place that here and obviously you can cut parts of a video and this is all down here so here's your selection tool where you can select at which part of a video you are and can preview your video and yeah, I'm just gonna mute that clip now, so if you just want to view your video but don't want any sound or maybe just want to mute a clip completely without cutting the audio, just disable audio, but that would suck because then you wouldn't hear our info, but I'm just demonstrate that now. So as you can hear, there's no audio right now and if I disable that, now, so as you heard, now there was audio, but let's just stop it right now. And down here, you can select the razor tool, which is obviously for cutting your videos. So maybe you don't want a certain part of a video and just select it and cut it. Or maybe you just want to reorder your video so you can obviously cut the different parts of your video and then you could click on the right button and click on lead selected item or just go back to your selection tool and drag and drop and just reorder them in any specific order you want so that's very easy and yeah very beginner friendly so it's yeah very easy to do and now what you if you got a longer project or you just want to change your view you can go down to the zoom level and just press here and now let's go a little bit Nearer, if you, for example, want to edit some audio files, some short little files that you don't want, you can just zoom in. Now I could easily select some short little files which I might have in the video, and yeah. Or maybe if you have a big project, then you obviously can go out very far, so you can see one hour is here so yeah that's obviously very nice so yeah but i normally don't make that long videos but if you have a giant project then that's obviously very nice i'm just gonna undo all of this now because i don't want it in that order and put the video file in here as it was normally oh no Sorry for that cut, but my editing software crashed or, yeah, froze, I mean, so, yeah. So, let's just delete all of this and make it how I want it. So, yeah, let's just put that clip in here again. And now let's just add some audio, obviously. So, 
just my voice basically for this video which I want to upload later today and where is it? Um, videos I think yeah just dynamics and just drag it down here to audio now for this we are gonna use audio 1 or no basically audio 2 and now we obviously want to hear our intro but not this clip so I'm just gonna make it so we can hear it again and now click on the clip and split audio now as you can see it's easier for you to see but we just want to ungroup it so we can delete it because let's just undo it now for example if I would use my razor tool and we cut something it would still be together in one part and also if I would delete let's say just the video the audio would also be deleted but I don't want that so let's just go back and now you're gonna do click on ungroup clips and now you can cut or delete that clip that audio clip for example and the video be still there or the other way around how you want it so let's just delete all of this here and yeah now I just do put that here doesn't really matter because I only got one audio clip so I might as well just leave it here so yeah that doesn't matter but yeah now I just add my end screen and stuff for my YouTube channel and of course also drag and drop now this is oops now as you can see this is just a picture that is moving and obviously you can just oops you can just drag that on how long you want to stay it stay there so pictures you can just easily yeah, change the length of a picture depending on how long you want to talk about a certain picture or something like that. And now obviously also my outro music and yeah now it's just yeah it's that. So I'm just gonna move it here. Now it doesn't matter if it's here in video two or Free or audio one because obviously there is just one audio in here so it doesn't matter and obviously you can check of on how it will sound and look here let's just do that so yeah everything works nice I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer and now what you obviously also want to do is save and just yeah click on save as and then just the file name for that video I'm yeah I don't know let's just call it test and save and now your progress is saved so if you would open that clip up if you would click on open here and would select that clip it would exactly show you how it looks right now and if you obviously want to save a video you would need to click on render and then you would choose a name and yeah I'm just gonna call that person dynamics and here you've got the different formats that are available and here you can select the quality and 
and on top there are some best quality and down there there is the worst quality so I'm just going to select the best and now you would click on render the file obviously or you could also just select a zone on the project but you don't want it and but I don't click on that right now because my editing program would probably freeze again freeze again but yeah normally when there's a screen here that says how long the video will take to edit approximately so yeah and then it yeah then it will be here and if it's finished then that will also show up and you can obviously also select that you that the computer shuts down after your renderings so for example if you have a very large project which takes hours to render but you don't want to sit there and waiting just to turn off your PC then that's a nice option obviously but my projects aren't so long so I don't do that and yeah so that's how you easily render a video in Caden Live and obviously the basics so yeah that were the basics for Caden Live in 2017 I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if so please drop a like and consider subscribing for more content on Caden Live and other program programs which will help you to improve your video quality and also tech news and unboxings and stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. So yeah guys, tech stuff here, I'm out, see you next time, bye!